Hello, girlfriends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will not be with you girls, but will literally turn into boys. We will play Minecraft, only we will behave not as girls usually behave, but we will be cool boys who love to do a lot. No love making between us now, because we're boys who are very funny and witty. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. What an interesting task is waiting for us today with you. I've always wanted to try it like boys, but I haven't had time to try it all. I'm so glad we're going to try this out tonight and have a great time together. Boys are not much different from girls in Minecraft, but they are much more serious and committed. Hi, hi. We have a very interesting task today, and let's not drag things out much, because we usually do things that we don't need to do. And today we need to be more serious and make our plans. We need to think about what we will do today to be interesting and us and our viewers. The main thing is to become very much like boys. Hello, boys. Haha, ha. I'm already getting into the role we have to play today. I've already planned all the things we have to do today, and now we just have to do them. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, to extract the resources that we're going to need so much to build our house, which I have already planned. Let's get on with it. The most important task that is required of all of us is the extraction of wood. All boys usually do everything together to get as much as possible of those resources that are very much required in all cases of life. Wood is a very important resource, so we're harvesting as much as we can so we don't have to go back into the woods and cut down those trees. It's going to be a lot of time, which we don't have much time. It's pretty cool that we're harvesting a lot of wood together, but who's going to mine the rest of it? Are we going to keep running back and forth and extracting each resource separately? It will take more time or I am wrong! I don't understand how boys can do this, so they always have the resources to survive and not waste a time on prey. No, you're not right, Pinkie Pie. It is very effective to extract a lot of resources at once because it saves our future time four times because four people get wood. Boys love to look into the future, so they plan everything so that they do not forget anything and also that they have free time. When we survive, we spend all our time developing and extracting resources. Okay, boys, let's not fight and let's get some wood. You're just going to lose your focus and not be able to work together. You fight like girls, and you must not forget that we play completely like boys, as if we were reincarnated into them. And boys, as you know, never quarrel and are very good friends. That's why they get friendly work. Next, let us not waste much time and begin to extract the stone so that we always have it and we can do something with it. I haven't thought about that yet. But very soon we will all come up with something. We have scrambled each wooden pickaxe so that, as with wood, we can get the boulder together because it is also one of the most important resources in Minecraft. Of course we found the cave. It's so beautiful and we're sure enough to have it so that everyone can get the rock in their place and we don't get crowded. From the rock, we will make exactly a lot of stone tools so that all the work we do should be very effective and very fast and not such as is going on now. I believe that we have been sitting on the extraction of resources for a long time and I would already have started the next case, which we are on the plan. We well, I think I'll go a little further so you don't get in too much trouble. In case I find something valuable. By the way, Pinkie Pie, You've noticed that boys tend to build a stone pickaxe instead of using a wooden pickaxe. Boys are very economical and they invest the stone in their work because you need to spend not so much stone, but they get good efficiency and twice as fast the same amount of resources they would dig with a wooden pickaxe. Okay, I think I'm gonna stand at the door because there's gotta be a catch. Boys, you're so good at helping each other. The most important thing is motivation. So raise your motivation because we still need to build a big house. By the way, I think we will build from the same rock to make it strong and reliable. Usually boys like to do such houses. We will now begin the construction of our house, which we have planned. We'll start with Pinkie Pie building the foundation of our house to make it really big and beautiful. Usually the boys, just like us, distribute the tasks of building a house among all. So we will do the same. We're gonna have a little house where the most important thing is to have beds and everything we need to survive. Okay, well, I'm gonna be helping Fluttershy with the fact that I'm gonna be building the bottom of our house, or rather the walls of our house. They'll be half wooden and half brick. 
This is to prevent our house from being torn down by some storm, because the rock water is hard to move very much, so our house will stand for centuries. Boys love such houses very much, but I like the most Monodonous houses. Okay, I'm going to dig up some dirt to put a beautiful wooden house here that will keep the heat in our house and that we have here very nice. The tree is also very warm and pleasant to the feet compared to the ground. The boys don't care where we live, but we can't stand to live like boys anymore. So we decided to walk away from this ordeal and break the rules a little bit. So let's not linger and start immediately to the construction of the interior. Now I'm going to make window frames in our house because they will show our walls in the house, as well as the places where there will be windows in our house. I believe that the walls of the stone are very aesthetic together with wood, so it is not for nothing that we chose this option of construction. All the boys know not only safety, but beauty. Next, we should have put a glass in our window frames already. It will make very beautiful windows, thanks to which we will have a view from any part of our house, as well as very safe, and no weather conditions will disturb us. Even though we're boys, and we're not scared of anything, we still have to take some precautions to make it perfect, like all boys. And the final part, we need to make the interior of our house. It will look like that here should fit all. Boys don't usually think about where to put things, so we're just gonna throw them out all over the room. We'll put the beds right under the windows, put a workbench between them, and make ovens on the sides. We will also make four chests that will stand in different places. We have a small village near our house, and I'd like to take some of their garden, but then return it. Boys usually do this because they are too lazy to make a large vegetable garden on which they will have their own food, but not immediately. They like to have everything at once, but it takes a lot of effort. That's why we always build vegetable gardens, so it's ours and not in the village. So, well, we were able to live this day for the boys and even found ourselves armor. Boys, of course, do everything very quickly to rest and it is very difficult for us. They are full of energy for the whole day and ready to work from morning to night constantly. I somehow even envy them and want to become a full-fledged boy like today, only forever. I really enjoyed surviving so much. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed surviving as much as the boys survive. It was quite difficult, but on the other hand, an interesting event, which we remember very much. I'd like to see the boys do what we do. They'll probably pick up flowers and do it very slowly. Ha ha ha. So we really enjoyed living like boys, and now we have finished our survival. Subscribers, if you like the way we survived as boys, like and write in the comments whether this series is needed again. Also, subscribe to our channel and put notifications turned on so as not to miss new videos. See you soon. Bye.